Welcome to this quick tutorial about how to use Designer for Microsoft Access to create your own database and tables. What you're looking at here is a basic spreadsheet, perhaps similar to what you have in your own company, to track contacts and company names. You'll notice first that this spreadsheet actually mixes several different concepts. You have your contact names in columns A and B, their contact information in columns F and G, Columns C, D, and E actually store information about the company. And one of the common problems related to keeping information in spreadsheets is that oftentimes you have duplicate data and then that data starts to get inaccurate as your spreadsheets get larger and larger. The key benefit to a desktop database like Microsoft Access is that the information is automatically updated and associated such that if you change the company name, you only do it once and all the contacts associated with that company now have the right information. So let's see how Designer for Microsoft Access can help you take the concepts that you understand in a spreadsheet and to design a Microsoft Access database without being an expert in all of the different concepts required to make a relational database. One of the key benefits Designer for Microsoft Access offers is that it will walk you through the steps necessary to design your Access database without requiring you to understand some of the underlying concepts like primary and foreign keys, creating the tables, input masks, formats, etc. Using your own plain language, Designer will ask you what you want to track in the database and then for each thing you want to track, what are the specific fields that you want to store in the database. The first thing you're going to notice is that Designer is asking you what's the main thing you want to manage with the database. The important thing is to think at a very high level from what are the concepts. Are they contacts, products, properties, etc. The next question is, are there any things that are related to candidates that you want to manage? Now, of course, when you're doing something like recruiting people and hiring them, there are quite a few different things you want to track along with the job candidates. Now once we've identified these key concepts of what we want to manage, for each of these, we're going to walk through the process of actually defining what about these elements we need to track. Designer is going to help us to define what exactly we want to track about candidates, locations, campaigns, etc. You can add fields if you'd like, as many as you would like, but direct phone as an example is a number field but you have the option to choose how you want it to be displayed. So in this case, we're going to choose that when we see this field in the database, we actually want it to be formatted like a US or Canadian phone number format. So for any number field, you might want to select a varying different kind of format or what's called an input mask. And the great thing about Designer is you don't need to know the difference. You just simply select how do you want it to look to you. As you define your database, one of the things you would do is you would indicate that openings, as an example, relates to, and you have the option to choose from a list of the other things you've specified you want to track in the database that might relate to openings. So let's go to the next and last step here, which is creating your database itself. You click Create Tables, at which point Designer starts creating the tables, the relationships, all of the essentials that your database needs. So let's look at what the database actually looks like under the covers here. Show all the different relationships. And as you can see, even though it was fairly easy to walk through and answer a few questions, that underneath this, Designer has made a very comprehensive and uh, what would be complicated to do manually database. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you to understand how Designer for Microsoft Access can be used. Please feel free to download a demo from our website at www.opengatesw.net. Thanks for your time.